So today we are out here at Tent City. Now, if anybody knows Tent City in Goldsboro, um, this is, we are in the heart of Tent City. You see all the tents laying around, uh, a lot of debris. People are packing up because as of what, tomorrow? Mm -hmm. People have been told that they have to vacate the premises. Now I'm here with Amber, right? Yes. Amber and her... Kimanti. Kimanti. Mm -hmm. All right, so y'all been together how long? Four years. Four years, right? So y'all been together four years. How long have you guys stayed out here in the woods? About three years? Three. Roughly. We used to hang around downtown. So y'all was pretty much homeless downtown. How, how old are you now? I am 23. 23. 23 and 24. So you guys were homeless at what? 19 and 20? He was 17. He's been out here seven years. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you've been out here the longest. The longest. So what what brought you here? Like what was, what, what made you homeless? Mm -hmm. No, issues at home. Some issues at home? Yeah, issues, yeah about issues at home, man. I used to get disability checking, man. I got turned off. Missed you, one of my money, missed you some money. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Amber? What what brought you out? That, that bag right there is very heavy. See, let me hold that bag while it go. How, how, what is all in that bag? That's something you I can- I have, have markers, notepads, uh, Valentine cards, vapes. A hammer, uh, basic tools, wrench, uh, flashlights, batteries. Don't forget that hatchet. A battery, yeah. <laughs> she got that hatchet. I find a lot of stuff around here. So, and you've been out here for three years. So, what brought you here? Like, what what kind of made you homeless? Uh, me and my grandma's been back and forth since uh, since the situation back in 2017. Finding out who my mom was. And okay. Three years we've been out here. We had two kids, two which are in foster care. All right. So since y'all been out here and y'all met, y'all have two children. How old are the children? Our little girl is one. She was born February. No, she was born December twenty sixth, twenty twenty two. Our son was born February eighteenth, twenty twenty two. Okay. She's one years old. He's uh -huh. two years. So my birthday is February 26th, so y'all had them real, real close. Now, he didn't want to wait. <laughs> okay, so when y'all had the, the children, because you mentioned that you had, you, when you got pregnant with the second child or the first child, you was able to go back home, right? Yeah. My grandma don't want me there no more, and my mom ended up having a hard time paying bills. Okay, so that's so after you had the baby. My grandma hit me in the head the last time I was there, and one time she tried to tase me. Okay. And he was there with that. He also got locked up in front of the house one time. They slammed him on the hood of the car. Who, the police? Yes. In front of your grandma's house? Mm hmm So have y'all been in trouble since y'all been out here? Well, he has a record. I only have one. You only have dismissed. one charge? It got dismissed. Trespass. He has uh, probably two trespasses. I just recently got out of I just recently got out of one. That one just missed one. Okay. So a lot of people have already left? Yes, a lot of people have already left. And you said the who was out here today, the police was out here today? Uh I don't know not sure. Not yet. Or the city yeah, worker. The city you and you said that they were spray painting purple on the trees, like they're right there, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's on the, all the trees, and there's yellow marks as well. You see some purple on the trees over there. So what does the purple supposed to mean? Purple is an equivalent to a no trespass zone. If you go beyond the tree line, and if somebody catches you, you automatically get arrested. No warnings. So that's what they're saying is going to start happening tomorrow? Yes. So y'all been out here three years. You've been out here seven years. What are some of the experiences? I know you was telling me about some of the well, things that y'all had to go the, through. Uh, some of the things that are required is heat sources, uh -huh. which some of the churches had provided uh, propane for everybody. Okay. Um, and lights, like flashlights and batteries. 
Right. So they gave you all that? Yes. And also so, tarps and wool. Okay, so that's y'all team. Y'all Tommy's Foundation had acquired that. Place. Shout out to Tommy's Foundation because they used to come out every uh what Tuesday every and feed. Tuesday and they help out. Mm -hmm. What is it, honey? What's that? And that's the that's the clothesline right there, right? Basically, it was already like that when we got here. Oh. I, I just pulled it, it tied, okay. tied it up. So those tents right there, have the people already left and they're just leaving them their tents? Them right there, they're moving. I'm not sure about them or anybody but that way. So have y'all had any, like, confrontation with people out here since y'all been here? Uh, or whatnot. Yeah. Some we've kind of had problems here and there, but it ends up getting resolved. Yeah. He got attacked after um, I left to go to my mom's when I got pregnant. And you said he, you, you gave him a cell phone. I gave him a food stamp phone that I had gotten, and somebody stole it from him, and um, he ran. And one of the girls. Food. You said you what? I had a book bag full of food, and that took that phone. Oh, you had a book bag full of food. I had left him with food and everything he needed. And somebody took it. So it's, it's people out here like that. That's that's not working together. Cause I I just thought uh, everybody actually, who stays out I here kind of works together. I had a stolen tarp from Miss Kelly. It used to be that I way. had two tarps. Okay. It used to be that way. Everybody was together. Everybody helped each other. It used to be that way. And there are sets of rules. But it's like out it's, here now. It's like more divided. Everybody it's more violent. More divided. Everybody for themselves. Everybody's like for themselves. People right there. You know, people taking and stealing and stuff from each and other. If you see somebody stealing from somebody else's area, basically it's free for all. If you catch them. You catch somebody in your area. Your area is now free for all. Oh, if they so catch you stealing from if, somebody. if somebody catches, catches somebody stealing, then every, anybody else can go in your place. Mm -hmm. Yes, with, and without your knowledge. Yep. While you're not there. So Our what other kind of rules missing. are there? Well, uh, no loud music after a certain time frame. Mm -hmm. And no what loud else? noises. So what are y'all going to do now that they are kind of closing? No burning plastic too. Oh, okay. So what are y'all gonna do now that they are closing the place? Uh, we're not sure. We have a few ideas of what we may go, but... We're going to go and we're going to have to take our tent and put... I don't know. There is a new shelter that's being built around the area. Yeah. Okay. And Far you said there. something about a lot of people are going to Rosewood. What is it like? Is that like some more woods in the back or something? Probably, yeah. I heard from another person I heard that they're going to behind there's like eight people going behind the wood, wood area with about eight people. By the Ollies? Uh-uh. Not over here by Rosewood. There's 80 people I heard up there. And they going over there. So I heard from I heard from somebody. So, but y'all right now, y'all y'all don't really have any any plans. Mm -hmm. No, just basic. Just pack up and go. So what are y'all going to do with the children? Here. About the children? The children? What's up, my man? They're with a, a licensed foster home right now. Mm -hmm. And um, they're doing good. They're going to Disney World. And I did have a job at one point, but... So y'all plan on trying to get them back? We have tried. Uh, my mama was supposed to do the a... Only, like, the only way for us to like they were supposed here. to look at the house again. Reevaluate the house or something. Mm, the but she never did. What you plan was the only way to get them back was by, I say, ambulance classes. I have done SEOP and NA. Yeah, stuff, stuff like that. And I did do half of my DV classes, but my phone had ended up breaking and I lost the code and I've tried to get it back, but so, I do Skype the kids every day. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're kind of young, so they don't really know what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They know who we are. That's good. Our son says, Mama Amber. So, 
and he sees him, he says, da da. So y'all do, um, cause y'all did admit that in the past y'all had like substance abuse issues. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's been kind of a reason why y'all was kind of out here like this. We still smoke uh, weed, CBD. Okay. But we've kind of set off from not buying the street stuff. So have y'all ever tried to get like a job? And get, have, get on your feet. Thanks to his family, I had gotten my first job. Golden mm -hmm. Grove, Mount Olive, peanut plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long did that last? Uh, it lasted a, a couple months because it was seasonal. But one day, his aunt didn't want to take me to work, so um, I lost the job. Is that only job? Well, I tried to Actually, job. I think it was last year I had that job. The only job I can Burger get, King. get unpaid with y'all. I had that for like two or three no, months. The job I, have. I had gotten my mama on the job with me as well because she was get was having a hard time paying bills. I had paid her uh, car insurance and um, had given her gas money here and there so I could get places. And I was going to Waynesboro at that time too. But she ended up falling back and I ended up quitting. So and you said you got to get a job on the table, or they going. So you said that, that they cut your check. Yep, but when I was 18, 22, last time I received it, you remember that? The last yeah. job I had was uh, it's called auto detailing. And go to Greenville. I used to go to Greenville on that. It was um, I got paid about three hundred dollars for every Friday. He was doing good too. Oh, mm -hmm. But the problem was. He came up dirty in one of his uh, drug tests that he took. Uh, I mean, and another reason was because my boss said I was working good, but I was working too slow. I was moving fast enough. So we had to go to the ECU and watch them buses and clean the buses over the ECU, and I was moving too slow. And we went, went to the point, so I got. See, right now he's carrying his stuff out. Oh, okay. So everybody's kind of moving. Yeah. Right now. So come tomorrow. What? What? So y'all gonna still be here tomorrow? Uh, we still probably be here today. Probably. the birthday area, but we won't probably back here. We probably end up moving out to the somewhere else, unlocated where nobody else knows. Okay. Just me, just us. I'd rather be by myself because everybody around here be stealing, my, stealing my mm -hmm. stuff and aggravating. We have an area somewhere. We have like we have an area somewhere. I tend to wear. So when you said somebody, so some, one person sees somebody stealing, then everybody's going to steal. If you drop something on the path or something basic, it's now theirs. Okay. And if you see see somebody with it, they're going to claim it's theirs. Wow. So, and oh, how would you say how many people stayed out here that uh, you got? To my knowledge, know? in and out. Yeah. Some would say 20. 20, but that's in, it? From my knowledge, all together, been whether been like here you. or not in here, at this current time, 50 people. I, I had a cousin who stayed out here. He now ain't on the streets no more. He stayed home with his mother. Okay. So you don't have, you, if if you try to, to go home, just three people. If, if you try to go home, what's it, Jelante? Kimonte. 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 If you try to go home, do you think your parents will let you home? Mm -hmm. I've been home. I've been his home. dad. I've, I've overheard a conversation with his dad, uh -huh. and it did not go so well. My father actually works at Walmart. He has I always Walmart. say hi to him as I go to Walmart. Oh, okay. So he don't really kind of mess with you? No. I work in Walmart. I might say hey. I might say hey to him. That's all. But we didn't talk much. And what about you, Amber? If you if you wanted to go home, do you think you could go back? Maybe if I talk to him. Mm -hmm. It depends. But I guess because they have certain rules too. My grandma has now uh, blocked me on Facebook, so okay. she no longer claims me as family. Well, y'all know y'all are only twenty three and twenty four, so you guys have a whole life ahead of you. So I also have put in 50 applications. But. Also, I thought about the other option of military. 
The military. Yeah. The military is good. I thought of that first, but then you'd have to have a high school diploma. Yeah. You got a what? High school diploma. Well, that's 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 easy to get. They'll help you get that. But you guys I have a lot of. I'm really about about the military. Huh? We went traveling first. You go want to go around the floor around the world. You know, a lot of things. Yeah, you can I do. I area cleaned up at one point, but it just keeps getting messed up. Yeah, and but I, I, I burn some of the trash around here. <laughs> okay, that's what y'all burn for heat too. Cause yeah. I know it's it's, it's well, been cold lately. To get yeah. rid of some of the trash, it just keeps accumulating. Because I, I mean, I think y'all still have time to get y'all life together and don't have to be out here like this, right? Because I used to have a drug, drug habit myself. I was really bad on cocaine and alcohol, and then I went to recovery. And then when I got out of recovery, I don't really like alcohol anymore. Yeah, see, That's but we drink a lot when we was downtown, like in two kitchen areas. Yeah. And then we go down and drink. I, can't I drink went to no face first on his uncle's porch. Wow. They get it was like brown liquor. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I also mixed uh, vodka, henny, and Smirnoff together. That is oh no, nah, that's uh, not a good idea. We used to drink. Downtown we used to drink uh what is it called? Earthquake. Earthquake. What's an earthquake? Ten um, percent alcohol. Is a yeah. Oh, it's you talking about uh oh oh earthquake. I like steel reserve. Yeah. I couldn't cool. I could never drink a whole steel reserve. Yeah, Your room? Wound. Oh, your wound? What happened? Mm -hmm. What, what happened? I, I was cutting down the, that tent right there and um, the green thing of the tent mm -hmm. uh -huh. and cut his hand. Wow. And I have infection. You That's have infection? Favorite. Yeah, have you, ah, you might need to go to the hospital. And get the swelling has gone out. down some. I've been squeezing it. What happened? I would say some of the glass came out of my phone. Yeah, you gotta. You probably. You might need to go to the hospital. Have, do y'all go to that? What? When the last time y'all been to the hospital? It's probably been a, a year, close to it. Mm -hmm. Most of the time we get cuts and stuff. We medical. We uh. Because What's we, that medic we on break, I yeah. break sticks and stuff. So uh -huh. I get a lot of splinters and stuff. So y'all do y'all take pretty much take care of y'all health issues by yourself? Mm -hmm. Mostly. So, is there? You don't get ever get scared at night, like when it's because I went camping probably like last year, and I was, you know, I was out there, you know, we was on a camping site, but I still like, you know, if a bear or anything comes. There's you know. deer out here, raccoons. Some yeah. people will be uh, sh shooting the raccoons. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. BBs, yeah. Yeah. Do they do they eat them? They um, cook them. One guy, I roast think them. One guy, one guy did out here. You cut, you cut the heads off of them. He, he no there. longer stays out here. Yeah. He's a cool dude. One guy taught me out here uh, how to uh, make charcoal. Uh huh. An another guy taught me uh, how to uh, take a vape, vape battery uh, and uh, yeah. connect it to wires. Okay, and get and some electricity. Mm -hmm. So it's very, some very smart people out here, huh? Yeah, very smart. Well, you learn a lot. Technically, you, them right there, they have electricity. Oh, where? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, TV, a battery yeah, and a converter. And yeah, because I've seen one guy, he had an actual gate, and he had, a like, a living room. Like, people actually made this their home, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a I home. tend to sometimes call it home myself. Yeah, because we're going home. it feels that way sometimes, at, when at, it's cleaned up anyway. After you've been out here for so long. So long, yeah. Never had an uh, actual, you know, own an actual home of your own here. You know, I new. mean, it's, it's not a cup of tea, but, I mean, it's somewhere at the rest. Wow, that is, that is, I mean, y'all, I give y'all credit for being out here for that long. I That's have learned how to split wires and connect batteries. I've uh, tried to, uh, been trying to make a battery pack solar powered. Battery pack solar powered. Mm -hmm. I 
used to have a big panel like this uh, that I tried to connect, but it didn't work. So you know a little bit about electricity and stuff too. Yes. Uh, so another guy I know out here, he knows how to weld. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's a lot of talent out here. It's a lot of smart people. I also people. do art myself. Oh, okay. And sing. Okay. If you look up uh, to the point where you Amber Howard right. sketchings on YouTube. Okay. Oh, you got a YouTube channel? Uh, to the point which you can draw oh, where you really so, try hard, you know, when people get paid off the pavement and stuff like that. Yeah. You draw it right like that. To the point where she can get, actually get paid I off the pavement. I do creative paper. signs. I made up this one. Spread some cream cheese on a broken strawberry short. <laughs> hey, because people call anything, me short stack, you know. Anything and I am a redhead. We'll sing for spare change. Uh, <laughs> he's on the bro. Uh, another person like had wrote, uh, spread some cheese on a broken cracker. Uh, I kind of hailed that one just like one time. I just, I just couldn't help myself but laugh. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. I, like I also, that. uh, uh, I'm wishing for a cheeseburger. Oh my God. Or um, I'm dreaming of bo a bow box. It was written by a guy named Aaron. He froze the devil on you. Died. He froze the devil out here? Mm -hmm. Behind sheets. Over there. Behind sheets. There's wow. another guy that had got hit by the train. His name was Michael. And I knew him, too. There's an a girl who uh, was at the Irish supposedly said and she overdosed and he dumped her body at a church. On, on, on Cemetery Road. Church Road. He yeah. dumped her? Over Cemetery you know, what Cemetery Church Road was that? Yeah. Yeah, over there. He didn't know what her name was he Crystal didn't know he, was he didn't know what to do. Okay. I he remember that. Him. I've heard that. I've heard that name. Mm -hmm. Crystal Hayscock. And I I seen your YouTube uh, about that guy with the shopping carts, he, he's very quiet. Oh, the bus stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, yeah, he's he's pretty nice. I felt touched by it. I never heard him spoke to one day. He had somebody uh, last week who had passed out here. You mean he, you want to sound? That's the first time I ever heard him talk. I tell people I hear him talking sometimes. Talking sometimes to stick to himself, but I listen to about something he's saying. You know, he'll think he's crazy, but I don't think he's crazy. I think. A lot of he has some mis mental issues. I, I already knew that. A lot of people wonder why he won't come over here, why he stay up there. Uh huh. He said it was dangerous. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's pretty dangerous out here sometimes. People yeah. carry stuff like that, and Thank just you. people get scared of it. I mean, the people carry machetes like 18 inch machetes. Why don't you be afraid of it? Just something for protection. What is that? Oh, oh, you got a little. So you got a lot of stuff in that bag. <laughs> I um, lost stuff at one point, but somebody recently stole my food bag. If you leave and you leave your uh, tent or something. Two to three days, you your area mainly is a free fall. I'm surprised if you just leave for the day. It might not. You see, uh, that happens too. You leave out here to what a day, what a day, so you come back, you got something viable with you. It happens. People Anything still people happens. still go around your area. But they do it when they go in your area to do it, you won't notice. Like they can walk through your area like you don't know nothing. You can't hear me to record this. Oh, you sit at you sit in our tent too much. We just sit there and just listen. There's somebody behind the tent. I'll be here, hearing this stuff. We take a flashlight. Like there's a guy over here who goes by the tent all oh, every night. Every night. Because he goes clink. by it. I hear the clink like this. Just walking by. Walking around, flashing his light at the tent, and then when I when I flash the light, he'll turn it off. Okay. Just go like this. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, man. So I certainly thank y'all for taking the time to talk with me, man. And mm -hmm. those are some of your those are some of your drawings. That's the one. That's I know it's who's telling you. And who's that right there? That's Jesus. <laughs> I don't know who it is, but it kind of looks like a rock star. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. yeah. I have like a list of stuff in here. Let's like basically. So one question I'm going to ask, though, because I kept hearing about this one individual that sometimes comes out and te terrorize people. Who? Have, have you ever heard the name Marcus Allen? <laughs> yeah. A lot of people. Are the, are, the, are the rumors that I hear about him true? We don't have to get into the rumors. <laughs> but I hear a lot of, lot. I hear that name a lot. Have you heard of uh, James? Uh, or otherwise known as trench coat. Nah. Oh, man. You'll hear him holler from a mile okay. away. He used to be downtown, and we he gave him the, the name time, trench coat. So it's funny about he is. You know, he got with uh, what's called? He said he's glad people are leaving because he gets the corner on some stuff. Oh, okay. He went to East Point and got a new the chick rolling and stuff like that. He goes out every day. He gets this little chick. He makes money. You know, he makes money sits on the corner. He goes home. He stays with about Lowe's. And the light. Once you hit that light, go across the street, apartment to the left. Stays over there. I mean to the right. And I be wondering, like, man, you... Bro, tracks on the left. Me, the person, I be thinking the con, bro. You get this little chick, y'all. Why are you on the corner waving a sign? And you got a home to stay in. Especially for people who don't have a home. I don't understand. Oh, okay. So and he... People he give him more money. Home. No, people like give up. He had more money. He than has $50 every day and wants to rent in my space. I'm glad that it is. Hey. Yeah, I, I, if you piss me off enough, I got the balls for anything. Mm -hmm. I tore up Spence one time. <laughs> okay. Well, look, I'm going to go ahead and end the interview because I don't want to be intruding too long. I know you, the neighbors are probably wondering yeah, what y'all talking about. So, but is there anything else that y'all might want to share before we leave that y'all want the public to know about life out here or, you know, how y'all feel not about as bad the clothes? Uh, y'all really think it is. Because if you think about it, at the beginning of times, uh, Adam and Eve used to stay in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> you right. And that's, believe it or not, that's true. That's how we should still be. They, they actually weird. cut the trees down and just built a house. So it's the same thing. Basically. Mess up the planet. Mm -hmm. I feel and we didn't really have electricity either. I feel like mess, tree I, sap. I mean, the way I feel is it's Can insane. burns a lot. That's not the plan that God meant for the building and stuff. If he made, if he meant for the building stuff to be here, he would have put them here. When he created. And by cutting down the trees, it cuts off a lot of oxygen More trees for us to breathe. Oxygen. That's how you breathe. Well, we hope next time we talk to y'all, y'all are in a better position. But I thank you for reaching out to me, Amber, and you got my number, so you can call me anytime. I definitely want you to keep up. And also, Kimonte, mm -hmm. definitely consider going into the military. You still got time, and you still got time to be a great artist because, you know, both of y'all are two lovely people. So if y'all get yourself together, there's no telling where y'all can be at in five years. All right? Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for talking to me. We're going to keep up with Amber and Kimonte. Y'all be blessed.